Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation. I didn't really know how to call this. Uh, it's not polynomial. Uh, maybe it's rational, whatever. We have this equation x squared over 3 plus 48 divided by x squared equals 10 times the quantity x over 3 minus 4 over x. And we're going to be solving for x values. Even though this is not a polynomial equation, we can go ahead and turn it into a polynomial. And how can we do that? That'll be our first method. And let's go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by x squared. Actually, 3x squared is probably going to be better because that way we'll get rid of the 3s too. So when you multiply this by 3x squared, the 3 is going to cancel out. You're going to get x to the fourth. When you multiply this by 3x squared, x squared is going to cancel out. You're going to have 48 times 3, which is 144. And on the right hand side, when you distribute, just keep the 10. Uh, when the distribute the 3x squared, the 3 is going to cancel out. You're going to end up with x squared times x, which is x cubed, minus here x squared, uh, 4 over x multiplied by 3 over x squared. The x is going to cancel out. And we're going to have 3x in the numerator, and that'll be 12x. Okay, great. Probably making a common denominator would be a little easier, but I kind of find this easy. I don't know. Now let's go ahead and distribute everything x to the fourth plus 144 equals 10x cubed minus 120x. Let's put everything on the same side x to the fourth minus 10x cubed. You have to change the sign, right? Plus 120x plus 144 equals 0. Great. Now if you have this expression, what do we do with that, right? It's a cortic. So you need to solve the quartic equation. And to solve the quartic equation, there's a formula. There's a couple different methods that you can use, but uh, they basically rely on getting rid of the x cubed. So we can replace x with something, change the variable so that we get rid of x cubed and we end up with a depressed quartic, okay? Which means it's missing the cubic term. And for that purpose, you're going to replace something like this. x equals let's just say we use y plus uh, I use the opposite of this sign here and then I take this coefficient 10 and divide it by this number 4. Make sense? So in other words if you replace x with y plus 5 over 2 if you simplify that and then you'll get rid of the x cube. Actually, it's going to be y cubed that disappears. In other words, you're not going to have a cubic term. And once you have that, you're going to have an equation like this. x to the fourth plus ax squared. x squared is going to be there because uh, what's going to happen is x cubed is going to disappear, right? Actually, I should probably write in terms of y. So let's just say we get something like y to the fourth plus ay squared plus by plus c equals zero. And then you can go ahead and put everything besides y to the fourth on the other side. And I could also make these minus, but that's okay. And then we add something to both sides to make the left-hand side a perfect square, at the same time making the right-hand side a perfect square, which gives us a cubic equation at the end. So here's how it goes. You just add 2ky squared plus k squared, and that basically makes the left-hand side a perfect square, and you do the exact same thing on the right hand side. Add 2ky squared plus k squared. Now k is a constant to be determined and that's actually gonna come from here. So you're gonna combine these two things, that's gonna give you 2k minus ay squared. So I'm kind of giving you the general idea without going into the details of the problem, but hopefully you can apply this. The left hand side is now y squared plus k squared. And now the right hand side also needs to be a perfect square, which means it's discriminant or delta is zero. This is where you get your cubic, of course, in this case, after doing the substitution, you're going to be able to find the value of ABC so that that's something you can plug in and solve for. So the only variable in this case would be K, and I think you'll find a cubic equation in K, and then by solving it, again, there's a cubic formula or a method to solve it, but again, this is quite complicated. Another alternative, if there are any rational solutions, would be to look for uh, rational uh, factors or integer factors in this case because our uh, leading coefficient is one which means if we have rational solutions they are integers make sense in other words factors of 144 and good luck with that because there's going to be quite a few numbers that you have to test 
such as plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 5 doesn't go, right? But 6 does, right? So on and so forth. So 144 actually has quite a few factors, and if you really want to know how many factors it has, you can go ahead and do this real little number theory trick. You can do the prime factorization. Notice that 144 is 16 times 9, and that will be 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 2nd. So you go ahead and take these exponents once you do the prime factorization. Increase each of them by 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5, and 2 plus 1 is 3. By multiplying these, you get the number of factors that 144 has. But these are only positives. You have to double the number to get the actual number because you also have to think about the negative uh, factors. Well, you can call them factors, I guess, whatever they you want, but there's going to be 30 numbers you need to check. If you're lucky, you're going to hit somewhere, right? But let's go ahead and do this differently, and that's why we have something called a second method. Isn't that awesome? To have something as an alternative. But why did I walk you through the first method? Well, why all this torture? I know some people are like complaining about why take eight minutes or ten minutes or even I don't know, even six minutes for this problem? Because I want to show you the alternative. Not everybody is the same and everybody learns differently. So I'm hoping that this will be helpful. Okay, great. Anyways, let's get back to the problem. X squared divided by three plus forty-eight over x squared. And let me tell you something. When I first saw this problem, I was surprised. I mean, seriously. I didn't really expect to see something like this, but as you deal with these problems more and more, um, you kind of develop a habit that'll help you definitely in the long run if you're studying mathematics for any reason. So now here's the thing. I have a difference here and I have a sum. Do you think they're related? Yes, absolutely. I think this problem appeared on some math contests at some point, I don't know, maybe more than one, because a lot of times contests will um, take problems from each other. Uh, I wouldn't say steal, but, you know, they would just <laughs> borrow maybe, I don't know, just ideas. Uh, it, they're, they're being used, and I don't think anybody has a copyright uh, to a particular problem. Anyway, so we can do the following. Uh, we can go ahead and take this expression and call this something, how about t, and then square it. And the motivation behind squaring it is because I'll get something that somewhat looks like this, because notice that you have x over a minus b over x, and if you square this, you're going to get a term like x squared over a squared, which kind of looks like this, and if you square this, you're going to get b squared over x squared, which kind of looks like this. But of course, they have to agree, they have to match up. And this is just a trial, and trust me, if this wasn't a competition level problem, then this wouldn't work, and you would be <laughs> kind of disappointed, but trust me, it is going to work in this case. Let's see how that does. So. First step, set this equal to t, and then square it. And then see what happens, okay? It's kind of like to try trial and error sometimes. x squared over 9, that's the first term. And then 16 over x squared, I usually do the squares first. Minus 2ab is going to give me 2 times x over 3 times 4 over x. And notice something nice about it is that x's cancel out and the constant term appears, which is nice. So after I squared it, I did, I did get something that looks like this, and that would be, what, 8 over 3? Yeah? Okay, cool. Yes, but that's not what I have here, right? <laughs> Here's the thing. You don't have what it is, but you can make it. How? Here's the trick. Add 8 over 3 to both sides. Math is full of tricks, right? Especially on math competitions and Olympiads. There's a lot of tricks, so some people like say, oh, this is a contrived problem. That's what it is. That's the nature of these problems. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to multiply both sides by 3. Guess what uh, that does? That gives us the expression right here. Because if you multiply by 3, this gives you x squared over 3 after cross-canceling, plus 48 over x squared, which is what we have on the left-hand side. Beautiful. So we can write it in terms of t, which is actually going to be 3t squared plus 8. It's nice because the threes cancel out. So now let's get back to the problem, x squared over 3, the original one, right? And then use substitution to see what happens. And then we're going to proceed with that, okay? Remember, I call this t, right? This is t. And this should be that, okay? Which is 3t squared plus 8. So now I got a quadratic equation, beautiful, and we can solve it. You know how? Either try factoring or you can 
what is it called a quadratic formula and there's actually a really cool method that you can use I think in two days I'm gonna make a video on solving these kinds of problems really cool method without using the formula anyways it's called the X method but uh, I have a really nice approach so uh, let's use the quadratic formula t equals negative b 10 plus minus the square root of b squared which is 100 minus 4ac that will be 96 beautiful because that's a perfect square that's a 4 that's a 2 so we get 10 plus minus 2 divided by 6 which kind of splits up by the way you can divide everything by 2 5 plus 1 divided by 3 or 5 minus 1 divided by 3. This is a 2, this is a 4 thirds, but you gotta remember these are the t values, right? And what is t? t is equal to that expression x over 3 minus 4 over x and from here you should be able to find the solutions for x and this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then be safe, take care and bye bye.